Welcome to Extraterrestrial Reality. Uh, today I want to talk about a very strange story that uh, just happened recently in Oregon. And it involved three hunters who ended up seeing a strange cube floating in the sky while they were on a hunting excursion. And then they completely forgot about it and just walked away. And, and, the, and the great thing about this story is that one of the hunters actually filmed it and then they just walked away. And uh, we're going to talk about this. This is actually coming from um, investigator Scott Waring. And uh, he has an article that he published on his uh, on a website, UFO Sightings Daily. And I want to go through that. This is what you're seeing right there. That's a picture, uh, an image of this uh, close-up image. It looks a little blurry um, of this cube-shaped object that the hunters saw. And uh, anyway... Uh, it's a very strange story. Anyway, here, we're going to read through Scott's article here. And again, I'll leave the, the links for this so you can check it out for yourself. It says, look at the UFO in the above screenshot from the first part of the video. It's low. Look at the below screenshot of the UFO. It's much higher. This is proof the UFO is rising, moving when seen. Screenshots have been focused and with added contrast. So if you get a chance, you got to check out the... Uh, uh, this website where Scott has this stuff posted is very interesting stuff. Anyway, this happened on April 5th, 2023 at Coos Bay, Oregon, USA. And it says here, now this is interesting. Hunters went out in search for prey when they encountered a glowing cube UFO. The cube is clearly lower in the beginning of the video and then much higher in at the end of the video i use two specific bushes on the ground to get the right perspective and distance compound it with the fact they all forgot about the ufo as if the ufo itself erased the person's short-term memory but they found the video and remembered it when i had then this is his own experience uh, scott waring's experience when i had a ufo of dozens of uh, ufo sighting of dozens of 747 sized ufos many soldiers in the parking lot stared upward in silence at them for 15 minutes in rapid city south dakota in the united states air force back in 1990 i too forgot for a few days oddly not thinking about it at all later realizing the memory was hidden from me by the ufos themselves short-term memory can be altered using alien technology clearly aliens use it when ufos are seen but not wanting to be seen and that was by scott Waring. now here's the eyewitness statement with with regard to this video it says <clears throat> it was a strange cube floating in the air i was with three friends we were out hunting we walked up into a clear cut and there it was maybe 300 feet away and about 50 feet off the ground strangely none of us remembered this it wasn't until i was moving some random video clips that i discover it i have the video again very oddly once we just observed the cube for a while the three of us just turned and left as it was simply of no more interest in, to us. How, how could we do that? Just turn away and walk from a UFO? Well, <laughs> there's a lot of stories like this. You hear all, a lot of different UFO investigators talking about stories like this. And, uh, well, of course, w one of the uh, people that's talked about this is somebody I had on the show recently is Preston Dennett. He talked about numerous cases where witnesses see a UFO and then they just forget about it. And this happened in this case here. And these guys just walked away. And here's, we're going to play the video here so you can, you know, I'll talk about it as it's playing. It's just a short 55 second video. And again, if you're listening to this, uh, you can always watch the video version I have on Spotify or check out my YouTube channel. But uh, this is unbelievable. You see a hunter there, one of the hunters is standing there with binoculars looking at this object. And the guy who's filming it pans back over to the object, zooms into it, and you can see this weird blue cube just floating there in the sky, just looks like it's spinning, and it's moving, it's, it's going higher, you can see it lifting up a little bit, these guys aren't even saying anything, they're not talking, then they just turn, and they just start walking away, it's unbelievable, then they have a little slow motion version of it here, and uh, it's a strange object but the weird part about it is the guys are you know you imagine you're in broad daylight you're on a hunting trip three guys and uh you come across some weird cube-shaped object and then you just decide well you know that was nice you know and you just walk away isn't that weird that's unbelievable.
That is absolutely unbelievable, but that's exactly what happened here in this case. Uh, these hunters, you know, were going on a hunting trip, and they get, they're just, hey, hey, look at that. Then just move on. I mean, that that's that people don't do that. If you, you know, a lot of times you see a UFO, you're stunned and you, and you can't stop thinking about it. That's what happened to me when I saw one in 1994. But sometimes these things, I don't know what they're doing. It, well, obviously, sending out some sort of psychotronic control. I guess this is an example of how these things can control somebody. And again, this is something that's been talked about by different UFO researchers over the years, where these ob where these objects somehow manipulate people's minds. And make them forget. You know, basically, uh, some researchers say that somehow the aliens have the ability to take short-term memories and shove them deep into your long-term memories and uh, basically lock them up in there. Now, the only way, the, the, the guy here re remembered it after going through the videos later on. He, he, you know, after this hunting trip was over and he's going through the videos. Oh, yeah, we forgot about this. Wow. How did I forget about this? But that's what happens sometimes. Luckily, they took the video... Perhaps if they didn't take the video of the object, these guys might have completely forgot about this. And it makes you wonder, how many times does this happen to people? How many times do people go see a UFO and then just completely forget about it because there was some sort of message sent to their brain somehow, some psychotronic control was used uh, to manipulate someone into forgetting about this? I mean, it's possible that, you know, people see UFOs a lot more than we realize, but then they, they've immediately brought to forget about it. But this is probably, I don't think I've ever seen a case where, you know, somebody filmed a UFO and then they forgot about it. It's like you could see the manipulation happening, you know, with your own eyes. I mean, there's three guys standing there looking at this strange object. One guy standing there with binoculars. They're not even, you watch that video, they're not even saying anything. And the one guy's filming it with his cell phone. And uh, next thing you know, they're just looking at it. it. It's still hovering there and they just begin to walk away like nothing's there, like nothing's happening. Now, who in heaven's name would do something like that? You wouldn't. You know, not, not under normal circumstances. Obviously, this is not normal circumstances. Obviously, this is most certainly abnormal circumstances. And you, ha and you have to wonder, uh, you know, exactly what the heck is going on here. You have to wonder exactly how does something like this happen? I mean, I, I, I just, it's, it's amazing to me that we actually have video evidence now of aliens manipulating people into forgetting something. That's what this looks like to me. I mean, this could be it. I mean, of course, I don't have evidence, absolute positive, 100% evidence that what that object is is extraterrestrial. I don't have that evidence. But I mean, if you, you use common sense, I mean, I come to that, I do come to that conclusion because what else is it? Why did these guys forget? And why did they just walk away from a, a, a cube floating in the air, you know, right in front of them in broad daylight? They just stopped filming and decided, yeah, let's just keep going. They didn't even say anything. They just kept on walking. No talking. And then forgot about it and then remembered it later on when they're going through, the, one of the guys going through, the, one of the guys is going through the videos. <clears throat> so I think this is a really good story and, and probably, I mean, if it's, you know, I, I, unless it's some sort of hoax, I don't think it is. Right to me, this looks authentic, right? Unless it, but unless, you know, unless it's some sort of hoax, this is probably the, the 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 clearest proof of how aliens can manipulate us mentally. You know, they can control us psychologically, make us forget things, and make us move on through. Uh, and and this again, it's not like this is this has been reported before, but there's never been evidence like this where you actually see it happening. <laughs> You see it happening. They're not even talking. They're, they're standing there in the woods in broad daylight and, and right in front of them, hovered over some trees, is a, is a blue cube-shaped object that's spinning there. One of the guys is standing there with binoculars looking at it. The other guy's filming it with his cell phone. And then all three of them just decide, okay, uh, they don't even say anything. They just begin traipsing away like nothing's there. And then they forgot about it. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Now, I don't even know how do you begin to investigate something like this? How do you begin to try to understand what happened here? How do you try to, if you're a debunker, how do you how do you begin to try to debunk it? I mean, the only the only place you could really try to debunk it is you could say, well, they're just hoaxing it. It was a hoax. I don't even know. I don't think this is a hoax. This looks like very realistic footage. I mean, these people are obviously this guy contacted MUFON and said, look, this is what happened. Yeah, I forgot about it. We all forgot about it and just moved on with life like nothing was going on, like nothing was happening. 
I just know this, you know, normal behavior, seeing a, an incredibly strange object just floating there in the sky in front of you. That close, that close up. I mean, again, this isn't something that's far away, you know, way in the distance and it might be this or it might be that or, you know, this is right there. This is not normal. And this did not look like you're uh, a drone or anything of that, mat of that uh, like anything like that either. It looked like a cube just silently hovering there. What was it doing? How did it get there? And then these guys just walk away. Now, again, if it's a hoax, if somehow this is just some manipulation by people that are doing this, okay, well, that then that uh then i'm wrong right but again there have been art stories like this again preston dennett a lot of different ufo investigators have talked about people who see ufos and then somehow they forget about it and then go on for years sometimes and then suddenly remember it that's that's something that happens a lot sometimes but apparently if this case is real which i think it is right these guys saw this thing one of them had the fort had the wherewithal to begin using a cell phone to film it, but then something happened. They just all just ended up walking away. Like, damn, nothing, nothing's going on here. Nothing to see here. And then they forgot about it. You just don't usually forget it. Like sometimes it this happens, but it's not it's not normal. That's not normal. I mean, the time in 1994 when I was on a fishing trip, you know. You, you, <laughs> And I, we, me and my buddy saw a UFO up close and personal. It was a lot closer than that, actually. I mean, the thing that I saw was within 20 feet, and it was a lot bigger than that thing. That This this was like a flying saucer, basically, floating in front of us, only two and a half stories off the ground. When I saw that thing, you know, that, that was stunning, and I did not forget about it. I mean, we, we got out of that place, and we were both stunned, and we didn't forget about it. Unfortunately, none of us had a camera back in 1994, you know, not everybody carried around a camera, you know, and even if I would have had one, I I don't know if I would have even thought quick enough to try to take a picture of it, but I didn't forget about it. You know, not that, you know, and a lot of people have incidents where they don't forget about it, but every now and then you hear about these stories where some people have an incident and even sometimes a lot of people are, are present at a, at a sighting, a, a close-up, extreme sighting of a UFO and then somehow they miraculously just forget and it never, never happened. And then sometimes year, a year goes by and then somebody finally remembers it. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot that. And it goes along too. This, 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 this just goes hand in hand with a lot of alien abduction stories too. You hear sometimes people forget the, that they were abducted by aliens, but then something happens. They don't even, they don't even remember it at all. And, and they don't even seek out psych, uh, psychiatric help to try to remember because they just completely forgot it. But then something triggers them way down the road somewhere and then all of a sudden it all comes back to them. Something really weird is going on here. Something very, very strange is happening. I mean, and this is, uh, this is no different. I mean, to me, this is, again, this is the probably the best proof we've ever seen of aliens manipulating people, making them forget right in front of your eyes. I mean, you, for one thing, hey, like uh, I guess you, you could talk about what debunkers complain all the time about people not uh, filming uh, UFOs, getting blurry shots and things like that. Well, look at this situation here. Look at this situation. Or not filming to the end, like till the thing flies away. Well, look at this situation here. Look at what just happened here. I mean, if, the, if in fact, unless these guys are... Pulling some sort of hoax, which I do not believe they would do this, right? I, I, you never know. It's possible. There are hoaxers out there, as I've talked about many times on, on this podcast. But I don't think this is a hoax. And I don't, I, I mean, to, for one thing, the object is real. That doesn't look like it's any sort of CGI or anything. It looks like there was something really floating there and that they were actually looking at something. Uh, what, it, what it is, maybe some sort of a probe or who knows what it is. But whatever it is, it made them forget, and they just moved on with their business and continued their hunt. But you know why? Why would aliens, if it is extraterrestrial, why would they do things like this? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk about we'll talk about this a little bit more. Okay, we are back. Uh, there was another article that was talking about this incident uh, from that was I, I found in Bro Bible. Uh, cube shaped cube shaped UFO filmed by hunters in Oregon sparks interesting theory by Douglas Charles. 
And uh, he basically goes over the same story that I just went through. And uh, at the end of it, he, he posits uh, an interesting theory. He says uh, it might be this might involve time travel. It says, while it may be alien technology that causes people to inexplicably lose interest, there is another theory. That theory posits that UFOs may actually be crafts piloted by time traveling humans. This theory would also explain how aliens have been able to live amongst us completely unnoticed for decades. They're not actually aliens all, at all, but just other humans. Now, I don't know if I, if I buy that they're time travelers, uh, but I guess it's, what, what, what do I know? I mean, I guess that's all we could really do. All, all we could really do when it comes to this subject is speculate. Uh, like, I don't, know, I don't understand, like, why... I mean, I don't see how this incident here could be construed as some form of potential time travel i think it's to me what it looks like i mean as long as it's not as long as it's not some sort of hoax or whatever uh, as long as it's not something like that uh, some sort of trick well i think that it's it's obvious what it is it's obvious this is and again this is not something that hasn't we never heard of before it's not that it's unheard it's not unheard of this happens this kind of stuff has been reported for decades there's many, many reports out there where people see things and then forget about them. I think I don't think time travel has anything to do with this. I mean, if I mean the guy was able to film the object and then somehow they were they forgot. They just I think what you're seeing here is that it's well, what you're possibly seeing here is that they've been they have been manipulated and manipulated into just forgetting about it. Just move on somehow, psychotronically somehow. Who knows? Maybe, maybe even some sort of a drug uh, put into the air that we just don't understand. Who knows how they're doing it or why why they do these things? Obviously, these beings don't want us to know that they're what they're up to here. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, even to this day, our the governments of the world uh, don't want people to know the the truth about this either. I mean, we're again we keep, continue to play this stupid game, but then you ha then you see something like this and you wonder, you you see the power that they hold over us. Now you wonder, well, why why did they make these guys forget? I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why you, you why they wouldn't want someone to forget. Okay, these are three guys carrying rifles. Okay, now there's been a lot of different stories throughout the years where people try to shoot upon UFOs, and usually that doesn't turn out to do anything at all. Uh, it has no effect. Now maybe but maybe they didn't want. Maybe they saw that these guys were carrying rifles, and they're like, well, you know what? Uh, let's let's make them forget about seeing us, and just to avoid any sort of uh, issue here and l let them go on their way i mean because i mean if you're standing there looking at something like that floating for a little while and you and you and you have a rifle hanging on your shoulder you might be thinking to yourself you know what maybe you know, i should maybe i should look through the scope here and take a shot at this thing and knock it down i'll have proof of extraterrestrial uh, life here on on earth I mean that th those kind of ideas. I'm sure if I was a hunter in the bu in the bush and I saw something like that floating there, I'd stand there and off for a few minutes, and then maybe after a few more minutes, I'd start thinking about pulling that rifle and maybe just pointing it at it and knocking it out of the sky. That might be one of the things that might go through somebody's head. I mean, because we've all been arguing about this for how many decades now? Uh, the government keep keep keeps it secret all this time. Why not try to shoot one down? Maybe these extraterrestrials recognize that these guys had guns and that they might start thinking about shooting it down. And they're like, okay, let's uh, let's send these guys on their way. And then the guys just go on their way. Because that's, I mean, again, I think that's the first case. I, you know, I, I don't see, there's nothing else out there like this case. This is, uh, this is new. Uh, again, unless it's a hoax, which I don't think it is. I mean, the object is real enough to me. I think it looks very, very real. Uh, the story was sent in the MUFON. They gave, they provided the video, and it's 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 not something that we haven't heard about before. Similar, this is a first of its kind, though. Most certainly, I think that this over time could possibly get. It should. I mean, let's realistically here. This is something that the mainstream media. I mean, if it was if the mainstream media would finally do its part, you would think that they would investigate this, meet with these three hunters. I mean. It's time to talk to these guys. I, I would imagine that's the, that'd be the way to go, to get these people on national TV. Tell the story. What happened here? You know, look at that thing. Okay, what do you think it was? And, and, and what were you thinking? Like, what happened? Like, try to explain the experience. Get, let's get it deep, deeper into this. Let's look at some of the other cases that, happened, that, that have been reported in the past. Bring some of those people forward who have talked about similar experiences. 
To see that the mainstream media won't touch. They don't like stories like this. This is, you know, if they do talk about it, they'll talk about it for about 30 seconds and they won't tell you the whole story. And they'll just sit there and chuckle about it while they move. Like, and it will be something toward the end of the program, you know. That, that's, that's how they usually operate. But this is something here. This should be at least interview these guys in more depth find out you know where exactly were where where was this hey why don't we go out there and check the area maybe there's some sort of evidence on the ground maybe there's landing marks or something to that effect there there should be more investigation and you would hope you would think that the mainstream media would show a little bit more interest in these kind of things uh especially a story like this this is amazing I mean, this again. This could po possibly be the the, the first that I, I don't see it any other time. I don't remember any. Nothing comes to mind uh, where you actually see people possibly being manipulated by an extraterrestrial intelligence into forgetting. <laughs> when do you when do you see actually see it happening like this? This is the first time. I don't think anything like this has ever happened before. Uh, where we actually have video evidence of it. I mean, there's nothing like this. Nothing comes close to it. I mean, if this turns out to be real, and that's why this one here should really it warrants, I mean, more investigation. Where's the sci The scientific community needs to look at, at this story and, and meet with these guys and talk to them. And th this is very important. If we want to get to the bottom of the mystery, these are the kind of stories that need to be looked into to determine whether it... Whether they're whether it's a hoax or whether it's real, I guess because it's either one or the other. In this case, this wasn't. I mean, it's either really happened or somehow they did some. They, these three guys decided to pull some sort of a stunt here. It's, it's either one or the other. We need to f figure out which one it is exactly. I th I think it is real, but hey, I could be wrong. It needs more investigation. But again, I don't see my 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 issue with uh, against the hoax is why would somebody go through this the motions of and then just providing it to move on giving the story there's no names here of these hunters or anything uh they probably want to keep their names out of it that's a, that's a sign in the in the positive you know you know when people keep their names out of it they're not they're not looking for anything they're not looking for any kind of attention they're not looking for any kind of money there's i mean there's that's another thing a lot of people say people are hoaxing it uh, they're just looking for fame and fortune well a lot of the times they don't even give you their names they don't they don't want people to know who they were or they don't they don't want to talk about it but you know this is one of the stories here i think is worthy of looking into deeper to find out more about it uh yeah and and i'm hopefully mufon is looking into this uh, uh more because this is definitely something that needs to be you know investigated further i mean this is not one of those stories that need to just be let go but i think it just, not just mufon mufon does this all the time and that's fine and i'm sure they'll dig up some great information but we need more people in the more, that the mainstream media should be looking into this in the, to, into this story here i mean this is this should be national this should be international news not just you know not just a couple of uh oh site websites like mayan and mufons and and uh bro bible right it needs to be all over the place i mean this is something that the whole world should say look at this if this is extraterrestrial look what they can do they can control you they can make you forget this is gigantic again i mean i think it's real from just my first first uh, blush at this story i think it's real but again it could be a hoax and that's why it needs more investigation um but it, there's so many different stories out there that have happened throughout the years. I mean, I, I, I've, I've been binge-watching different uh, UFO channels on YouTube in, in recent months. And I've, I, I, like, again, I'm someone like Preston Dennett, who has so many different stories that he's, uh, the people that he's talked to, different things he's investigated. And he has mountains of evidence related to, to the reality that there's an extraterrestrial presence here. And he has multiple stories like this where people forget People see something and it's an incredible sighting up close and then they just totally forget about it. Here we actually have video evidence showing this, showing this happening. People just walking away. Wow, that's cool. Just let's, time to go, time to keep hunting. Anyway, until next time.